What's up guys? I am back home from New York City, back home in LA, and it feels so good to be home. I so miss this California sunshine that you can see glistening on the spot that I missed shaving on my leg this morning. I will be home for a couple of weeks and then I'm off to Chicago, which really is my actual home. That's where I grew up, as many of you probably know from watching my previous videos and seeing how excited I've been about the Cubs being in the World Series right now. So I'll be heading home to Chicago on the 13th and I will be home until the 18th. So I'm really excited to see my family, to see my friends. Actually, Amanda is coming home with me. Really excited to show her how real Chicago people do Chicago. As you probably know from watching my New York City vlog, we did indulge in some cheats and treats here and there while in New York City. And I'm not gonna stress about it because there's more to life than counting every single macro every single day. However, now that I am back home, for a couple of weeks, I am going to be very meticulous about staying on point with my diet and hitting my training really hard. Hitting the training really hard never stops, traveling or not. You can always make time to train, even if it's just a hotel workout or a workout at home. You can bring bands, you can do plyometrics. There's so many things you can do from home. I create custom home plans for my clients all the time when they're traveling. One thing I know is that it can be a little bit of a struggle to get right back on track after a trip. So some of the things that have helped me, I un pack immediately and I know it sucks you've been traveling all day you're exhausted and the last thing you want to do when you get home is unload your suitcase fold your laundry no matter how many hours I'm traveling throughout the day the first thing I do when I walk in the door I unpack if you want to have a clear mind and a fresh start look at the space around you if the space around you is cluttered and it feels disorganized your mind's gonna feel disorganized as well that's one strategy that I've used for managing my anxiety and it's something that I've also relayed into getting back into my routine when I travel unpack clean up your space and you will feel so much better one other strategy that I did is I ordered meals right before I left for our trip for New York what I did was I ordered the meals and I left most of them that I wasn't going to eat in the freezer so that I would be prepared with meals as soon as I got home. Being prepared obviously is a key for staying on track or getting back on track. If you're more ambitious with your meal prep than I am, then by all means get home and get that meal prep done. But I know for myself, there's other things that I have to handle first. So what I did was I ordered some meals, put them in the freezer, and when I got home I had a whole freezer full of meals and I knew that I would be able to get right back on track with no exceptions with my diet. The third strategy that I use for getting back on track with my routine after a vacation is eliminate all sense of guilt. Yes, you went on vacation. You probably indulged. I know I did, but am I letting myself feel guilty about it? No. Never associate food with guilt. Sitting and feeling guilty about something that you ate is not going to move you forward. It's not going to take away the fact that you ate those things. So be present in the moment and just move on. As long as you prepare yourself to get right back on track and you do so, you will be just fine. In the grand scheme of things, is it going to impact your overall progress in the long run? No. Obviously, if you're prepping for something or if you have a deadline or a goal to meet, you may have to be more meticulous with your diet while you're on vacation. Personally for myself, this is my improvement season and one thing that I'm trying to learn and to practice is balance as well. I'm not feeling guilty about it. I'm back home and I'm back on track and I'm proud of the way that I practiced balance while I was there. Amanda and I are headed out to a concert this evening. We're going to see a couple of artists that we've been listening to quite frequently. Music is something that Amanda and I have definitely bonded over. We have similar taste in music, so we are super excited. We decided last minute yesterday to buy some tickets. We are going to see Spencer Sutherland and Wesley Stromberg. We actually met Spencer at the first YouTubers retreat in LA, so really excited to see him perform tonight, and we will catch you guys inside the concert. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
was so good. Both Spencer and Wesley were just as good, if not even better live than they are on YouTube. <laughs> I was just talking to Amanda about how happy I am that like we're actually kind of just living life and doing things. When I was living in Orange County, I didn't really do much. I was kind of lonely, but now that I'm living here, it's just a world of difference. Now I'm realizing why Orange County never really felt like home because home isn't a place, it is a feeling. And I finally feel like I'm home. See, we were even talking to the drummer uh, after the show about how we're like a married couple. <laughs> He was probably like, like what when we tell people that, I wonder like what they think. Like, but it's true. I mean, but seriously, like we we were with all of our friends all weekend, and we were like, we just want some alone time, just me and Karen. <laughs> the guys were awesome. I'm gonna put the links to both of their channels in my description box so that you guys can check them out. I promise you will love them too. They're so good. Just so happens that they're playing a show the night that we arrive in Chicago. It's meant to be. We'll go see them again. That is it for tonight. We are heading home and I will catch you guys next time. And now I am headed out to Orange County. I'm gonna be stopping at Elevate Gym in Huntington Beach to catch up with my girlfriend who owns the gym and also picking up some juices from Juice Me Gourmet. I'm going to be incorporating some juicing in to my diet which I'll speak more about later with you guys if any of you guys are big on juicing or have experienced benefits from juicing I'd love to hear your experiences I've never done juicing so I will catch you guys in the next clip Ooh, look at this cute little bag that they come in. It's insulated bag. And here are all of my juices for the next three days. Deliciousness. Which one's your favorite? Number six. Number six. But what six. you have to do is you have to drink a little bit, put it in the freezer, and then it's like a little slushy. I will fill you guys in more later on my reasoning for juicing and some of the benefits behind juicing, but I'd love to hear all y'all's feedback. Juicing. Juicing is something that I've always really been interested in. As of recently, I've done a lot of research on it. Obviously, while I'm in competition prep, it's not something that I can readily or easily put into my diet, but now that I'm in my improvement season, it's something that I really wanted to try. A lot of people do juice cleanses because they think it's going to be a quick fix for weight loss. If you really know the research behind juice cleanses, that is not the case. Yes, it will help you eliminate some excess water weight, but it is not going to help with fat loss. Diet. Fat loss comes from consistency on a sustainable diet designed for your body, your needs, and your goals. The reason that I've been so interested in juicing is I have suffered from digestion issues my entire life. I actually spoke with Mimi, the founder of Juice Me Gourmet, on the phone for about an hour last week. I'm definitely not the kind of person who makes impulsive decisions. I like to have all of the information and be very knowledgeable before I make decisions on if something is good for me or not. It takes our bodies 48 hours to digest one meal. So imagine how much longer it would take for someone who struggles with digestion issues. I probably have a lot of buildup and a lot of toxins around my digestive tract. Juicing actually gives the body a break from having to break down and digest things. So it's going to allow my body to fully digest all of those things that have just built up around my digestive tract. What I am interested in is detoxing the buildup around my digestive tract and hopefully getting my digestion running smoothly again. I am going to be taking you guys throughout the entire three days of juicing. I will walk you through all six juices all day that I'm going to be having, how I'm feeling. No, I'm not the only person who struggles with digestion issues or skin problems, anything along those lines that juicing is good for. I am hopeful that you guys will find this beneficial and informative. And just because I'm doing it doesn't mean that it's going to be good for you or something that you should do as well. If you are interested in juicing, make sure that you do your research and that you feel educated on the benefits that it may have for you before making a decision. Good morning guys, just got back from cardio and it is day one of juicing. So it is time for juice number one. These are all six of the juices. Each one of them says what the purpose is. They all serve a different purpose and have different ingredients. Here is juice one, blissful morning. The purpose of this juice is to boost metabolism and the ingredients are H2O, water, 
lemon, honey, chia seeds, and cayenne pepper. taste the cayenne. Very good. I like this one. Back home, back in my sweats and slippers, and it is time for juice number two. And I'm going to blend it with a lot of ice just to make it thicker and make me feel a little cooler. Oh, that's good. What's up guys, checking in midday, I'm about to have juice number three. I can already tell that it's having an impact on my digestion. I am using the bathroom quite frequently today and I've only had two juices. So I can tell that my body's releasing a lot of toxins and my digestion is feeling pretty good right now. I know with most people, beets are either a love or a hate relationship. I happen to absolutely love beets. If you are a beet person, comment below and let me know. This is juice number three, it is called Graceful Glow and its purpose is for detoxing and as you can see the ingredients here are beet, apple, carrot, and lemon. I haven't done much today, I've been working a ton, getting out new client programs, it is November 2nd. I still do have some availability for new clients for this month of November. As always, the information to inquire about my training programs is in the description box below. I'm going to finish my juice finish up some work, and I'll be meeting up with some friends later on to watch the Cubs game, so I'm a little nervous, but mostly excited about that, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. This is not a joke, you guys. I am at Whole Foods watching the Cubs game. This is how fitness people watch baseball. We don't go to bars, we come to Whole Foods. Say what's up, guys. What's up? <laughs> It is the end of the night. Just got back home from Whole Foods where we were watching the Cubs game. It was tied up at the ninth and going into extra innings, but now they're in a rain delay. So we came home and now I'm going to have my last two juices of the night. Oh, I was just gonna call you, I ran outside. Literally, oh. history, oh my God, I can't oh, even believe it's incredible. this. It's incredible, oh, I wish, I wish I was home. I wish you were too, honey. I wish you were. Oh my god, Amanda's watching it with me. So excited. Good year to become a, good year to become a baseball fan. So, I'm like, I can't even speak. Like, I'm like, what? Did this really no. just happen? Like, I don't know if it's actually hit me yet, but I screamed so loud, I'm like, already I'm like losing my voice. I wish I caught that scream on camera. It was epic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, we have to get shirts. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. Go, oh yeah. I'm gonna come running down the terminal in two weeks, like decked out in Cubs gear and like a psycho, like crazy lady. <laughs> Look out for the crazy lady in Midway Airport. Huh? <laughs> she hasn't been home in months. Oh my god. <laughs> That'll be me. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I'll see you in a couple weeks. What's up guys, so I made it through day one of juicing. I'm on day two. I've got to say I've already noticed some benefits as far as digestion goes. My energy levels are super low. It's been a struggle for me. If anyone else has done juicing before, please comment below and let me know. I would love to know your guys' experiences with it or if I'm just being a baby. But I give you guys props who make it through these three days of juices because I am tired AF. I'm going to push through this second day because I know that the benefits for my digestion will be absolutely worth it but I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I will make it for day three. You'll have to stay tuned for the next vlog to see if I make it through day three. And please let me know your experiences with it. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. I am going to finish out day two. You will see my end review and all of the juices in my next vlog. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if that's something that you guys want to see. Please give this video a thumbs up. I can use your encouragement right now, you guys. I am struggling. So please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. As always, I really appreciate you guys being here. And I will catch you guys next time.